welcome back to my channel I'm Jessica and today I've got a visitor I've got my little Greta just walked in this is my update for 50 shades of yellow or gold this is a fantastic lace collab just a year long it goes from April 15th of this year to April 15th of next year it is 50 products that you can link to the color yellow or gold or both however that works out for you and um, it was created by myself, Amanda, and Cece. It started from a conversation eons ago. We've done pink, we've done purple, we've done green, and now we're doing yellow and gold. We have already chosen the color for next year. If you are part of the group, you will be able to see what that color is. Otherwise, you would have to wait until the 15th of April of 2024 to know what that color is because we don't put the information of projects that haven't started out yet. In the past, we have had people start projects early and that's just kind of uh, not cool. So um, we try to keep everything on um, the up and up and everyone starts at the same time, everyone finishes when they finish or at the same time at the end of a project. So um, I apologize for those of you that would like to know the color ahead of time, but we understand if you are not part of the Facebook group but we don't release that ahead of time. All right, that being said, let's get into this update. It is very exciting for me because I have five rollouts. Three of them are finished products and two of them are goals that I have met. I'm just gonna go in the order that they are on my spreadsheet. Half of the products that I have in this project are makeup and half of them are beauty products. So we're gonna go with the makeup first because that's the way I have it on my spreadsheet. So we are going into the pizza palette first, the Glam Light pizza palette. I do have two shadows in here that I wanted to hit pan on, and I have hit pan on those. The first one is this shade right down here. That is Meatballs, and hopefully you can see that I have pan right there. And the other shade up here, that is Mushrooms, which I do actually like on my pizza. And hopefully you can see that pan there as well. I am working on other shades in that palette, so I will be showing that to you in a minute for the update, continuing on a portion, but I wanna get through my empties really quick. The first item that I have is from Benefit. This is the Professional Titan Toned Pore Refining AHA PHA Toning Foam, and it is done. I did like this. It was a little strange using a foaming toner, but um, it is all gone. And yeah, I did actually like that. I did notice that on super sensitive days, like on days that I had used um, like a peel or something like that, it did not sting, but I could feel like a, just like a hint of, like if I was a little aggressive with my skin, it, it was a little sensitive, but not painful, not stinging. I don't even know how to explain it. It was just like, like a hint of, I just, I noticed it was there, but I did really like it. It kept my skin texture feeling really nice. So I really did enjoy that one. All right, moving on to the Bath and Body Works Warm Vanilla Sugar Body Lotion. I love it. It is one of my favorite scents. I love that like soft, warm smell. So that one is done. And then the Not Your Mother's Naturals Tahitian Gardenia Flower and Mango Butter Curl Defining Combing Cream. Lots and lots of words. I do really like this. I I do have another one that I'm working on in a different project. And I think that one is my last one. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye out on Black Friday to see if anyone has this one sale because I do really like that one a whole lot. So that is my five things that are rolling out. And let's get into what is continuing on that I do have progress on. So we are going back into the Glam Light Pizza Palettes and the shade Red Onions that I am attempting to hit pan on, which is this pinky purple shade up here. I definitely have a nice dip going in there, and I am hoping that I can have a pan on that relatively soon. I am really working on that one. I've worn it quite a bit. I've done it just on the lower lash line. I've used it on my lids. I've used it all over, and um, that is kind of a focus shade for me in the next month, so. Hopefully I can have that before the end of the year. Another eyeshadow palette, another eyeshadow. This is from the BH Cosmetics Avocado Toast palette. And I am working on the shade Avocado to hit pan on. That is this one right here. Hopefully you can see that dip in there. It is pretty deep. My guess is going to be that I will have pan on that by the next update because 
I use that frequently on my inner corners. I do have on my inner corners today. So I feel like if I continue to use that almost exclusively on my inner corners, I probably will have that done by the next update. If you hear weird sounds, Greta is now behind me over there chewing on a bone. So, you know, can you hear the crunch? It's kind of kind of crazy. It's one of those um, maple stick, maple wood stick kind of bones. It's not really a bone bone. It's like a, it's like a chew toy. Moving on to the Too Faced Love Perfect Black Eyeliner. I made amazing progress on this. I did do. Um, a Halloween look. It wasn't a ton that I used, but I definitely used more than I would normally just on my eyes. I dressed up like a cow because I absolutely love cows. So I did, you know, like a little cow face. So there was some outlining and stuff like that. And no, I don't have a picture anymore. I accidentally deleted them, but you know, it was cute. So I have some nice progress here if I can actually line it up, which is not my strong suit. So I was at this line there, now I am down there. So you can see from this black line up is all that I have left. And uh, I definitely am not gonna have it done at this calendar year. I am hoping that I can have this done by April 15th. I'm just gonna keep working on it and see how it goes. I have three more products to show you that actually have some good progress. The first one is the Naturally Serious Fruit Tox Resurfacing Facial Remedy. I love this. Um, like I say every single time, but for those of you that are new to watching me, you can use this as a mask and then use it as an exfoliator. It is super scrubby. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of like an orangey color. Let's see if I can open it so you can see what it looks like. It's, it's kind of a crazy color, but it works really, really well. I was at the silver last time. I'm down here. I was squeezing it pretty hard when I used it earlier today. Um, so I definitely think this is going to be done by the next update. My last two products are from Bath & Body Works. They are both the Winter Candy Apple Scent. I have the shower gel and I have the lotion. The lotion is upside down because it just, it works easier for me. So the shower gel, I've got baby progress from here to here. I use this and I also use like a ton of other shower gels that are not in this project. So I kind of like mix and match, but I use a lot of lotion. So Hopefully you can see my purple line is right up here. I am at the green line. I don't know if I can have this done by the next update, but it's going to be very, very close. So we'll have to see. I definitely, this time of year, use more lotion because it's starting to get cold. What am I saying starting? It's been cold for a little bit and I my skin gets super dry in the winter. The coldness just like sucks the moisture out. So I definitely slather on the lotion more religiously because I need to and so who knows I might be able to get this done by the next update we'll just have to wait and see so that is my update five rollouts I'm very happy with how I'm doing so far we still have like I said until April 15th to complete this project I don't know if I'm going to finish everything because there's some stuff in here I've only used once or twice and yeah it's it's not going well as a matter of fact I'm going to show you one of the ones that is my biggest concern. This is from Give, which is Gwen Stefani's line. And you can see the gold cap right there. I put this in to finish it. I think I've used it twice since I brought it in. There is a ton of product there and there is no way, no stinking way that I can finish this by the finale on April 15th. So part of me is wondering if I should just swap this out for something else makeup because this is in my makeup portion not the beauty portion should i should i swap it out should i just say i want to do x number of uses on it or should i just suck it up and realize that i am not going to be able to finish this and just leave it in you know until the end of the project let me know what you guys think should i swap it out should i set a usage goal on it or should i just keep it in and keep you know not using it or use it occasionally and you know whatever happens happens I want to know what you guys think and whatever majority is that is what I'm gonna go with and I will let you know next update what you guys voted on and uh, go from there so let me know 
what you think. So with only 15 of 50 products left to go, I think that this eyeliner from Give Beauty is going to be my lone holdout. I do think I probably will be able to reach goal or finish everything else in this project. So I will let you guys decide what I do with that eyeliner and then we'll see next month. All right, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.